I'm Adam Swanson, the 2012 Saba Junior Provincial Champion uh, here at Carlisle, Saskatchewan at the Built for Life Fitness Center. Dad bought me a, uh, it's a home gym. You know, had, had a couple cables on it, bought a few dumbbells, just starting off age 12 there. Um, and you know, when I was 14, uh, got hooked up with a trainer, uh, calling Elite Keys. They're now out of Saskatoon. Awesome people, you know, really brought me into the sport. Um, put me through my first show uh, when I was 15. Um, placed fourth uh, out of eight, I believe, in, in, in the junior category. Went to Provincials the next year, which was 2012, being 16, uh, won Provincials as a junior. Um, and so now training for the world qualifier in Winnipeg come August 9th there. And actually with a new uh, coach now, George Farah, he's, uh, he's anyone in the bodybuilding industry would know who he is. He's a pretty, pretty well-known guy, so shout out to George anyways. And uh, yeah, I've been working, working with him for a year and a half now, so it's going to be the first prep with him. So. Things are looking good. Getting a hold of him off the bat is a bit skeptical because he not only trains Kai Green, you know, he trains a lot of pros, a, a lot of pro bodybuilders. And so getting him, you know, I thought, okay, well, is he gonna be just focusing on them guys, you know, and, 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 and look at me as okay, this is a 17-year-old. I don't need to spend too much time with him. That's not the case at all. He, you know, he I, I got his phone number, you know. When I text them, boom, get a reply back, whatever I need. You know, we email, um, I send him pictures once a week, you know, he's there when I need him. And it's, it's pretty impressive how, you know, how he's doing that, so I'm pretty happy with that. Kai Green, huge, huge role model of mine. He, um, I was fortunate enough to meet him um, in September there. Uh, at, uh, went flew down to Vegas, um, went to the Mr. Olympia contest, which is basically People that don't know the Super Bowl of body, I think that you know that's the, that's the top of the top of the game. Kai's Kai's just a role model of mine. A great bodybuilder, um, and he just so happens to have the same coach as me. So, pretty cool. Adam, I've known him my whole life. He uh, grew up. Him and his older brother Brody lived right across the street from me. Used to go to school with him, play road hockey, play mini sticks. You know, basically wrestle on the tramp, all that type of stuff. Working out with Jesse, uh, workout partner there. We just started coming to the gym. You know, I tried putting him through a workout at one point in time. And then, you know, from there it was just, you know, let's meet again. I'll be tomorrow, I'll be tomorrow. And, you know, he's, uh, he's goal oriented as well. So I think, I think it, works, it works good that way. He really understands, you know, going for the contraction, um, not just throwing weight around and, and whatnot. So, um, I mean, working out with him, you know, as you saw, you know, he can push me, you know, help me out, you know, with a couple of forced reps even that I wouldn't be able to get on my own. So, you know, for the longest time, I was just working out on my own, which, you know, either or, you know, if, I, if I'm by myself, it's not like I'm gonna have a bad workout. I enjoy that too, you know, it's, it's a good break, but for the most part, me and him are working out. And like I said, working out by yourself, Good. I feel like you know, probably get in the zone just a bit more. You know, with your headphones on, you're by yourself. You know, there's not really much pausing. You know, you can bump the intensity up that way. But with him, you know, it's 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 also beneficial. I was tinkering around in the gym a little bit, nothing too crazy, and you know, he started showing me a few things, and I started asking him, and then uh, eventually he said, "Well, you might as well come and let's get a workout in." So, sure, yeah. I knew he I knew he was bodybuilding. He knew a lot, and he could help me. So, come in, started getting a workout in. Felt really good and everything, and then we just kind of kept it going from there. And I think it's been probably a year, year and a half now we've been working out together, and it's good we push each other. And really, well, he's helped me along a lot of the ways. Real important message that I do like to get across, like I said, with some of the clients I've trained and just people I talk to preparation, food preparation, not only in bodybuilding, you know, the fitness industry is your main thing um, and it's it's what gets <clears throat> overlooked the thing is you know your body like you said your body isn't built in the gym it's built in the kitchen you are what you eat so what you're gonna put in your body that's what's gonna help you you know um, food grows muscle not you know you going to toss the weights up at the gym and 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 you know then go party on the weekend and eat whatever you want uh, so what I've always said, and this isn't my quote, um, I actually heard Kai Green say once, I don't know where he got it from, but what I've always said is the five P's, um, proper preparation prevents poor performance. 
I'm not a weightlifter. Um, I'm, you know, I'm a bodybuilder. You know, being a bodybuilder, you're looking for, you know, the best contraction possible in order to, you know, to tear, you know, every muscle fiber up and get that growth. Um, it's not about how much weight you lift, you know, and, and you know, being a bodybuilder, that's always a, a misconception. You know, I get it all the time. Uh, you know, hey Adam, how much you benching, or how, you know, how much you curling and whatnot. I really wouldn't even know. I'm, I'm, I'm not a guy to, you know, as you even saw tonight, we weren't going that that heavy, and you know, every every rep we were doing, you know, is is accounted for. You know, it's it's we're trying to go for the squeeze. We're really, you know, we're really trying to work the muscle at hand, using the mind the muscle connection. And, since meeting Adam and uh, hanging out with him, you learn more and more about bodybuilding and what to do and what not to do. And uh, so I've just kind of slowly went more and more towards bodybuilding. And uh, I don't think I would ever compete just because uh, how hard the dieting is. I've seen them do it. I go over there every day. I watch, you know, the meal prep. The, you know, I like to be able to work out and then go home. And, eat what, what I want, you know, I try to eat healthy, but it, if I have a portion that I can't eat, I just don't eat it at, at all, where Adam, you know, he's going to have to sit there for an hour, two hours just to get down that last meal, and, uh, you know, it's a lot of work and dedication, and I, I personally just don't have what it takes to do that. Now, I also get the question all the time of why six meals? five meals, whatever you do. <clears throat> well, the thought process behind that, keep you in an anabolic state or a positive nitrogen balance. So basically, by me eating every two to two and a half hours, I won't get hungry. I won't get in a catabolic state. I will continually fuel my body throughout the day. Um, allowing it to be an anabolic state. So basically a muscle building um, stage at all times. You'll eat your breakfast, by the time lunch comes around, your stomach's grumbling, you're, you're hungrier than heck. You're actually in a catabolic state, which is a bodybuilder's worst nightmare. Um, basically where your body eats away at your muscle tissue. Working out with a partner, it's, I mean, it's way better. You know, you, if you need a spot there, you can go heavier. And if you're having trouble, the guy can be there to help you. And just for motivation, right, too. I mean, you know, we, like you said, I mean, lots when you see us working out here, you know, you're telling the guy, come on, let's go, let's keep it going, you know, like, really helps you to motivate you and push you. You know, you want to always be equal with the guy you're working out with. And it just helps, like, helps you push each other. The goal right now is just August 9th. I got to, you know, get there in order to get to Worlds. Obviously Worlds would be the ideal thing right now, you know, especially being 18. I, I have a, Come on. I can't guarantee this, but I have a good feeling I'll be one of, I'll be the youngest one, if, you know, one of the youngest ones, if not the youngest one. Um, I do know going into the, you know, it's kind of a, it's a natural national level now being there. So um, the junior category is 23 and under, right? So I'll, I'll be up against some competition, um, being a lot older than me and whatnot, but, you know, I'm not too worried about that. Like I said, I can only, I can only worry about myself. I can't worry about everyone else. It's just wasted energy, right? So, you know, they're doing their own thing. I'm doing my own thing. It is what it is, you know, when I get down to it, right? Me staying in an anabolic state and eating these six meals a day is crucial. These meals, in my personal opinion, are more important than my workouts. Um, I don't take anything away from the workouts, as you saw, you know, in the footage there. We give it our all. It's just. I'm not gonna get where I wanna get eating like a normal human being, I guess. Adam wasn't, you know, the biggest kid growing up or anything, Come but back. to see him from where he started back. and then see like the year he got fourth and then when he got first there, there. it's amazing oh. to see the size that he's put on year by year by Come year and, and still only being, I don't know what he's, 18, 19 yeah. years old and He's a beast for his age, right? And and, and very mature. And uh, like I said, like the dedication. Uh, you know, you can sit here and talk about it, but when you actually see what he what he does on a day to day basis and how focused he is and, and whatnot, it's uh, it's a whole other level. He's on for sure. If you have program ideas that you'd like to see on Local On Demand, write us at max.local at sastel.com. 
Max Local Programming is now available online at maxonline.sastelf.com.